It has not been a good last couple weeks to be a Delta fan or hold any SkyMiles credit cards. If you haven't heard the news, Delta has made some huge changes to their SkyMiles program, which will focus solely on medallion qualification dollars with new higher requirements for status, as well as several cuts to lounge access across many of our favorite credit cards, including the American Express Platinum Card, the Delta SkyMiles Platinum Card, and the Delta SkyMiles Reserve, along with all the business versions of those cards. Yikes. These changes have many people saying goodbye Delta and hello United in American Airlines. So in this video, let's take a look at some co-branded credit card alternatives to the Delta SkyMiles credit cards. Before we begin, let's talk briefly about the changes that are happening with the Delta SkyMiles program. In the past, Delta has used a couple metrics to calculate if you qualify for status. Medallion Qualification Miles, MQMs, Medallion Qualification Segments, MQSs, and Medallion Qualification Dollars, MQDs. But beginning January 2024, MQDs will be the only metric used to calculate status. You will earn one MQD for every dollar spent on the ticket price of a Delta flight. That means it will get rather pricey to hit any Delta status in 2024. Silver status will require 6,000 MQDs. Gold status will require 12,000 MQDs. Platinum status will require 18,000 MQDs. And diamond status will require a crazy 35,000 MQDs each year. As for Sky Club Lounge Access, the SkyMiles credit cards as well as the Amex Platinum card are getting their access slashed or even completely cut. If you have the SkyMiles Reserve or Reserve Business card, you will no longer have unlimited access but be limited to 10 visits each year. You can earn unlimited access if you spend $75,000 on the card in a calendar year. If you have the Delta SkyMiles Platinum or Platinum Business, you will no longer have any access to the Delta Sky Club. It used to be possible to access the club for $50 each time you wanted to go. And if you have the Amex Platinum or Platinum Business card, starting February 1st, 2025, you will only receive six, yes, six visits each year. You will also not have any Sky Club access if you book a basic economy seat, no matter which credit card you have. These are definitely disappointing changes. I personally applied for the Reserve Business card a few years ago for the unlimited Delta Sky Club access. So what cards can do better? Well, let's take a look at the co-branded credit cards from United and American Airlines, as well as a brief overview of their status programs. Let's start with United. In the United status program, there are four tiers, silver, gold, platinum, and 1K. These tiers require a certain amount of premier qualifying flights, PQFs, and premier qualifying points, PQPs or a slightly higher number of PQPs to qualify for each status tier. Each of the United tiers offers elevated levels of experience when flying with United. Some of these benefits include extra miles earned per dollar, complimentary checked bags, priority boarding, access to economy plus or preferred seating, and much more. Now let's take a look at the United co-branded credit cards. At the bottom of the lineup, we have the United Gateway card. This card has no annual fee and a current welcome offer of 20,000 miles after spending $1,000 in the first three months of card ownership. United miles are worth about 1.1 cents per point, so we can safely say this welcome offer is worth $200. With the Gateway card, you're going to earn 2x back on United purchases, gas stations, and on local transit and commuting, including rideshare services, taxi cabs, trains, tolls, and mass transit then 1x back on everything else. This card also offers 25% back on United in-flight and club premium drink purchases, no foreign transaction fee, insurance and protections, and access to the Chase Luxury Hotels and Resorts collection. That's about all this card offers. It's a pretty basic card. Next, we have the United Explorer card. This card has an intro annual fee of $0 in the first year, then $95 after that. The current welcome offer on this card is for 60,000 miles after spending $3,000 in the first three months of card ownership. With the Explorer card, you're going to earn two miles per dollar on United purchases, dining, hotels booked directly with the hotel, then 1x back on everything else. The Explorer card offers some pretty great benefits, including free first checked bag, a fee credit for global entry and TSA pre-check or Nexus, 25% back on food, beverages, and in-flight Wi-Fi on United flights, and on club premium drinks. This card also offers two United Club one-time passes each year. The United Club is a great place to relax with complimentary food, drinks, and Wi-Fi while you wait for your flight. 
You're also going to receive insurance and protections and access to the Chase Luxury Hotels and Resorts collection. There is also no foreign transaction fee on this card. Now with the Explorer card, you're going to be able to earn 500 premium qualifying points, PQPs, for every $12,000 you spend on the card. This is up to 1,000 PQPs each year. The next card we have in the lineup is the Quest card. This card has an annual fee of $250 and a current welcome offer of 60,000 miles and 500 PQPs after spending $4,000 in the first three months of card ownership. The Quest card is packed with lots of great benefits that can help lower that effective annual fee while still elevating your travel experience. Let's start with the points earning multipliers. You're going to earn 3x back on United purchases, 2x back on all other travel including airfare, trains, local transit, cruises, hotels, rental cars, taxi cabs, resorts, rideshare services, and tolls. You'll also receive 2x back on dining and select streaming, then 1x back on everything else. Now with the United Quest card, you're going to receive a $120 United Purchase Credit each year on the anniversary of your card being opened. You're also going to receive two 5,000 mile anniversary award credits when you book a United flight with miles. You can earn this credit up to two times a year, which can total 10,000 miles each year just for booking an award flight. The Quest card also offers first and second checked bag for free for you and a companion, as well as the ability to earn up to 6,000 PQPs each year just for spending on your card. Like the Explorer card, you're going to earn 500 PQPs for every $12,000 you spend on your Quest card. You're also going to receive priority boarding, a TSA pre-check, global entry, or Nexus credit, insurance and protections, and access to the Chase Luxury Hotels and Resorts collection. The Quest card certainly is jam-packed with benefits and has an effective annual fee of at least $25 or better. All right, the last card in the United Credit Card lineup is the United Club Infinite card. This card has an annual fee of $450 and a current welcome offer of 80,000 miles after spending $5,000 in the first three months of card ownership. This card has so much to offer, so let's start by taking a look at some of the basic features and benefits on this card, then we can take a look at some of the really cool benefits that this card has. With the Club Infinite card, you're going to earn 4x back on United Purchases, 2x back on all other travel including airfare, trains, local transit, cruise lines, hotels, car rentals, taxi cabs, resorts, rideshare services, and tolls, as well as 2x back on dining and 1x back on everything else. With this card, you're going to receive your first and second check bags for free for you and a companion and a TSA pre-check, global entry, or Nexus credit. You're also going to receive 25% back on United in-flight and club premium drink purchases and the ability to earn PQPs like the Explorer and Quest cards. With the Club Infinite card, you're going to earn 500 PQPs for every $12,000 in spend, up to 8,000 PQPs each year. This card also offers lots of insurance and protections as well as no foreign transaction fee. All right, now let's take a look at some of the benefits that make this a really cool credit card. First, you're going to receive a United Club membership. This membership will allow you to access any of United's clubs and bring along an eligible companion. Authorized users won't receive their own membership, so they'll need to accompany you on the trip. The Club Infinite card also offers premier access, which can help you make your way through the airport faster with priority check-in, security screenings, boarding, and baggage handling privileges. You'll also receive a 10% discount on United Economy Saver award flights within the continental US and Canada. This card also offers IHD Premier Platinum Elite status, as well as Avis President's Club status. Now let's take a look at American Airlines. There are also four tiers in the American Airlines status program, Gold, Platinum, Platinum Pro, and Executive Platinum. Like United, each of these status tiers offers upgrades, mileage bonuses, free checked bags, priority check-in, preferred seating, and much more. Earning status is pretty straightforward with American Airlines. For every mile flown, you'll earn one loyalty point. Once you reach enough points, you'll receive status in that tier. You'll also have the option to buy your way towards status with the City Advantage credit cards. But we'll talk about that in a minute. So now let's take a look at the co-branding credit cards from American Airlines. The first card in the lineup is the City Advantage Mile Up card. This card has no annual fee and a current welcome offer of 10,000 miles and a $50 credit after spending $500 in the first three months of card ownership. 
The Mile Up card earns 2x back on American Airlines purchases, 2x back at grocery stores, then 1x back on everything else. With this card, you're going to receive 25% savings on American Airlines in-flight food and beverage purchases. Now on the Mile Up card, for every dollar you spend, you will receive one loyalty point, which means if you spend enough money on the card in a calendar year, you'll receive status with American. Next, we have the Advantage Platinum Select. This card has no annual fee in the first year, then $99 for every year after that. The Platinum Select card has a current welcome offer of 50,000 miles after spending $2,500 in the first three months of card ownership. The Platinum Select starts to offer some more competitive perks. Starting with the multipliers, you're going to earn 2x back on American Airlines purchases, 2x back on dining and gas stations, then 1x back on everything else. With this card, you're going to receive your first checked bag for free on domestic flights as well as preferred boarding. The Platinum Select card offers the same 25% savings on American Airlines in-flight food and beverage purchases. This card will also earn one loyalty point for every dollar spent. All right, the final card in this lineup and the final card of this video is the City Advantage Executive card. This card has an annual fee of $595 and a current welcome offer of 70,000 miles after spending $7,000 in the first three months of card ownership. With this card, you're going to earn 4x back on American Airlines purchases, with the ability to earn 5x back after spending $150,000 on purchases each year. You're also going to earn 10x back on hotels booked through aa.com slash hotels and rental cars booked through aa.com slash cars. Then 1x back on everything else. The executive card offers a global entry or TSA pre-check credit, your first checked bag free, enhanced airport experience with priority check-in and screening where available, and priority boarding privileges for you and up to eight traveling companions on the same reservation, as well as that same 25% savings on in-flight food and beverages. You're also going to have the option to boost your status. After earning 50,000 loyalty points, you will receive an additional 10,000 loyalty points, and you can earn another 10,000 points after reaching 90,000 loyalty points in the same status qualification year. The executive card also offers up to $120 back on eligible Avis or budget car rentals and $120 back on eligible Grubhub purchases, up to $10 a month. You'll also receive a $120 Lyft credit after taking three eligible rides in a calendar month, up to $10 a month. The executive card also offers Admirals Club membership to get access to nearly 100 lounges and partner lounges for you and your immediate family or two guests. So there you have it, seven credit cards that might beat the current lineup of Delta credit cards. What do you guys think about these Delta changes? I'm really sad to see the Reserve and Platinum card lose their unlimited access. However, I do hope it can help the overcrowding issue we've been seeing at the Delta clubs. Let me know down below if you're planning to move away from Delta and Delta credit cards. And if you're new here, welcome. Thanks for clicking on this video. Subscribe down below to see more travel tips and credit card reviews in the future. Thanks for watching.